Got that little fucking pouch of hair popping out on my cap here. What's up, guys? Joe. Now, I went to go see the movie Element. Right? Is that what it's called? Elemental, my bad. Now, it's a Disney movie, obviously. So, I mean, possibly it should be coming out on uh, Disney Plus if you have that, right? But anyways, what you go? I went to go see this actually a week before me making this video. It's just that... I just have been fucking busy, so like, I don't know, I uh, haven't made it on time, hey, whatever. But yeah, I went to go see it with the girlfriend, and like, yeah, we we liked it, she really liked it also. Now the funny thing about this movie is that like, when you watch the trailer, it just gives you an idea, it's like a romantic comedy between two elements that don't mix, right? Fire and water. The funny thing is that that scene that you saw in like, uh, either like in the theater or in, uh, you see YouTube, you don't see that scene whatsoever in the fucking movie, which I thought was kind of interesting, right? It's like they made their own little short in the, for the trailer, and it's not in the movie, which whatever, but it worked, right? <laughs> anyway, so the whole movie obviously is an analogy for race mixing. If you watch the movie, it's basically, obviously that's the whole message of it, right? Two people that are not supposed to mix, and then like, you know, people of different cultures don't get along or whatever, or they learn to appreciate the other person's difference and abilities, yada yada. And then like the couple, they... You know, the fire and water, they figure out a way to like mix and then, you know, they match. Everything's fine. Happy ending Disney movie, right? That social side of things. I mean, like overall, like the movie was, was fun. I liked it. Uh, <laughs> and there's one thing I kind of personally don't like up to this point in my life is when they make the male kind of weak. Yeah, I don't know. That's one thing I guess kind of starts to piss me off really is like uh, always showing the male kind of a pussy and like the... The woman is the one that's more dominant and like, you know, has an attitude and shit like that. It works, but I mean, I just feel like it's like a storyline aspect that's been used by Disney a lot and just, at least for me, it's kind of old. But the way how they wrote the story and the characters in the sense of like the male being like kind of a whining, crying little shit and then like the woman being an angry, fiery chick, I mean, it works. And so like story-wise, but I'm just saying like that characterization of like uh, male and female, how they're always portrayed in Disney, I just feel like it's just, it's old. For me personally but besides that like i said it was fun now like the thing about me is like because uh if you ever work with 3d you know or particles and with a computer right and like because you know, obviously there's a lot of motion in this car animation you know water and fire and smoke and all that shit. you fucking around with that dude that shit takes up so much render time and computer processing and stuff like that so i mean my assumption is like uh, obviously things got better obviously <laughs> In regards to technology and software because like uh, yeah when i started like messing around with 3d and like uh trying to mess around with fire smoke simulations water particle simulation all that stuff can eat up render time big time right so me watching this <laughs> cartoon it made me appreciate it more in that sense because i just know how much uh i have an idea of how much that shit can eat up your computer right and like the you know the processing power the render time and all the shit by me talking about this is this something i guess i want to bring up that has been brought up to me before um, I have been given comments of such as since uh, I'm a editor and I guess I have a better understanding of like software or whatever uh, people uh, ask me about maybe doing more breakdowns of like how are things made like a, a particular scene you know a, a, some kind of a visual and shit like that I have thought about that to be honest right and like uh, it just obviously it all comes down to like timing right because I mean for me to look look into it do research read about it um, it is stuff that I'm interested in. Uh, the Mandalorian, that's a good example, right? When I learned about how they filled the Mandalorian using like a, a giant, you know, screen in the background, I found it very interesting and I made a video, you know, talking about that. When, you know, I was talking about like the Mandalorian, how I liked it and stuff like that. So there's a possibility and a high possibility that I'm probably going to start doing that more down the line, right? Because I do love movies and like the technology that goes into like uh, making movies. This animation with fire and water and smoke and clouds and all this shit. Uh, but it is interesting because I just have a idea how much processing power it can take to make this shit, right? So if I can watch some behind the scenes stuff of how they did it and all that just out of, you know, interest. Yeah, I wouldn't mind like uh, taking that info uh, and turning it around and make a video out of it and then share, you know, what I learned how they made these things right because i do find this stuff interesting right uh, in particular how animators or directors or writers you know how they approach things and stuff like that yeah um actually that used to have been one of the big hobbies right i always loved watching behind the scenes of movies that i liked interviews and stuff like that right but like i said it all comes down to time me sitting around watching it reading about it and stuff like that so uh, me learning to like make the time to do that figuring it out with my already busy schedule can be something i guess i can work towards more down the line right as i make more content for my channel but anyways uh that's what i have to say elemental uh if you want a cute little well, cartoon animation with the family that's cool uh if you're one of those anti-woke <laughs> type of mentality people 
you're not gonna like it. So I'll, I'll, put, I'll put it that way, right? Anyways, that's all I have to say. So uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.